Hello again, my name's John. I'm a retired cook from the northeast of England in the UK and welcome to another one of my cake videos. In this one, I'll be making another one of our customers' favourite desserts. It's a delicious orange and lemon cake. We normally serve this with custard, but it's also great on its own with a cup of tea or coffee. And it's also my personal favourite. And here's a list of the ingredients you'll need if you want to follow along and make one yourself. I'll also leave a list in the description box below the video. Right, I'll start by greasing and flouring a 900 gram, that's a two pound loaf tin, as shown. And if you need them, the tin dimensions are on screen too. And I'm using a little lard to grease mine, but you can use butter or oil. But in my experience, lard is the best and the cheapest to use. Time to preheat the oven to 170 degrees Celsius, that's 338 Fahrenheit or gas mark 4. I'm setting mine to 150 Celsius as my oven's fan assisted and it runs about 20 degrees hotter than indicated on the dial. Right, I'll start the recipe by zesting the lemon and the orange. Use a fine grater for this, like the one I'm using. When zesting the fruit, try to go in straight lines from top to bottom. That way you don't waste any and it's quicker. And make sure you don't go into the white pith of the fruit, especially the orange, it's very bitter. And that bitterness would transfer into the cake. All I need now is the juice from both the lemon and the orange. That's the lemon done. Whichever way you squeeze your orange and lemon, make sure you filter out all the seeds. You don't want one of those in your finished cake. And there's a bit more than I thought. I'll just transfer that into a more appropriate container and set it aside for later in the recipe. Okay, on to making the butter. Now this is a very simple cake to make. I'll start by adding the four eggs to a bowl and give those a good whisk. Then I'll add the oil and whisk that in too. Next I'll mix in the sugar. Now I'll sift in the flour, salt and baking powder. If you're using plain or all-purpose flour, add an extra one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And that's baking powder, not baking soda. Those little white lumps is only the baking powder. Just push them through with your fingers. Now give that a good whisk into a smooth butter. Finally I'll add the zest from the orange and lemon. Now this gives the cake a wonderful citrus taste, but I'll intensify that orange and lemon flavour later in the recipe. Now this will look a lot runnier than your normal cake batter, but don't worry, it's supposed to look like that.
OK, once it's all mixed, I'll carefully get it into the greased and floured loaf tin. Right, now I'll get it into the preheated oven, which is set to 170 degrees Celsius, that's 338 Fahrenheit, or gas mark 4. And I'll set the timer for 50 minutes. Once the time's up, check it with the cocktail stick. If it comes out clean, the cake's done. If it's still a bit sticky, just give it another five minutes. Now mine's done, so I'll carefully take it out of the oven and place it on a wire rack and let it rest for five minutes before moving on to the next stage. Right, it's been resting for five minutes and the next step before removing it from the tin is to let some of that orange and lemon juice soak into the cake. First I'll poke a few holes into the cake so the juice can penetrate easier. Then I'll just pour on about five or six tablespoons of the juice and let it soak in for about five minutes. Ok, all I've got to do now is get it out of the tin and onto a serving plate. If you've greased your tin properly, it should come out no bother. Mine's popped straight out. Now you could call it done from here, but I'm going to take this a step further and add a citrus frosting on the top. A bit like a lemon drizzle. In this little bowl, I've got 100 grams, that's 3.5 ounces of icing, or you may know that as powdered sugar. And to start with, I'll add one tablespoon of the orange and lemon juice. Now I'll give that a good mix. And this needs a little tiny bit more. It doesn't take much. If you do add too much juice, just add a little more sugar until the consistency is the same as mine. Now all I have to do is simply pour it over the top of the cake in true drizzle fashion. It doesn't matter if it runs down the sides of the cake. Now I'll let that sit for an hour or so to let the frosting set up a bit and then have a little taste. Well, it's been an hour since I put the icing on and it's time to have a taste of this fantastic cake. Soon as you cut into it, you get that citrus aroma coming through the air. It's very appetising. And you can see straight away how soft and light it is on the inside. Here we go. And the first thing you'll notice is how moist it is. And that citrus flavour of the orange and lemon is what I call zingy and refreshing. All in all, it's a very nice, simple cake to make and I hope you give it a try. And with it being my favourite, it definitely gets the thumbs up. Well, thank you again for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the circle above. If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that, you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. So, until the next time, be safe in the kitchen and bye for now.